Yeah, let's see some of that. So I'm going to show you the instrument I started on. This is a 1978 <coughs> Sobel Citroen that was built for Gerald Trimble, and I bought it from him. I bought it in 1981. And then I played it for two years, and I bought another one from, from him, a, a one that was built in, I think, in 1979. Um, and that's the one that he recorded most of his first album, First Flight, on. And that one, I, I sold this to a friend in, in the Kansas City area, and he sold it to another person, and then it went to another person. And then about four or five years ago, the person who ended up with it sold it back to me, and it, it had been damaged. And so I got it rebuilt by a really good craftsman in, uh, I'm going to give him a plug here. He's in um, Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, and his name is, um, um, I'm going to have I'm gonna have to look it up because I'm spacing it, um, Gil Draper, Gil Draper. Okay. So he rebuilt this, and it's better than it ever was. So, um, you know, a lot of people might look at this and say, well, that's just a, that's just a 10-string mandola, and I wouldn't argue that they're wrong because it kind of does the same thing. The first string is an A and then a D, like a mandola, but then instead of a G, I have another A. Instead of a C, I have another D, and then I have a G down here. And that's the tuning that Gerald used and that I got from him. So that's just, a nice wide neck on there. Yeah, um, it is. It's, it's it's much wider than I'm used to these days. I've I've gone to thinner necks, thinner this way. You know, it's a thick neck and it's a wide neck. But it's part of yeah. Stefan's aesthetic, you know. Yeah. It's a very short scale. It's 19 inches, which is long compared to a an American or a Neapolitan mandola, but it's really short compared to octave mandolins yeah. and bazookis, right? Yeah, what did you say the tuning is on that? From bass to treble, G, D, A, D, A. So it's almost octave Which, mandolin. But with a high with string. A high A. Yeah. Yeah. Like it. So, yeah, I was happy to get that back a couple of years ago. Wait, I did that one already. So here's one that's really unusual. This is the only instrument of its type that I am aware of. It's a 10-string Octave mandolin, some people would call it a citron, but the man who built it calls it an octave mandolin. His name is Bob Abrams, and uh, he's retired now, but his um, he called his company Trillium, Trillium Octave Mandolins. It's an amazing piece of maple. Yeah. Beautifully finished, western red cedar top. It's arched but not carved. Yeah, I was going to say, is that carved or in, it's induced? Induced arch. It bent? Yeah, yeah okay. It's about the size of Stefan Sobel's larger citrons. Uh, it's got a 23-inch scale, but see what's missing? <laughs> no frets. Now, you can play this with a flat pick, but because one of my other instruments I play is the oud, I have this tuned the way I tune my oud. So I tune it D, A, D, G, C, wait, D, A, D, 
D-A-D-G-C. And I use an oud pick. Nice, and it's, yeah. it, that's a fascinating instrument. It has more sustain than you would think. But I have a, I have a magnetic pickup on it. I'm going to get a, a saddle pickup for it, and I think amplified, um, and especially if I use a little compression, I'll get a little more. Uh, sustain out of it. Mm -hmm. But the tone is just... Especially if you use your fingernail to fret. Don't think I've ever used my fingernail to do it. <laughs> Stop on note. It's fun. Nice. I have one other here. It's going to be hard to hear because it's a solid body electric, but it's it's handy, so I thought I would show it. This is, um, I mentioned Pete Mallinson from All Muse. He built, used to build... Um, electric mandolins, and I had him make me an electric bazooki, and it's patterned after uh, early 1960s Vox Phantom guitar. And he built his own pickups. These are Vox-style pickups, but for four four uh, strings rather than six. Um, and it's octave strung. It's way out of tune, so I won't play it. But uh, uh, I was hoping to get a sound that was similar to a Rickenbacker 12-string. And, oh, and nice! It's close. Yeah. I'm actually going to put some nothing like it. I'm going to put some flat wounds on it, um, which will oh it, really increase. Yeah, that's the that's the secret of the the uh, George Harrison and uh, um, Roger McGuinn, Jim McGuinn uh, sound is they they had flat flat wounds. I yeah. would have never guessed that because uh, I, and also I just your wouldn't. listeners may know that the. For Rickenbackers, the octave string is on the bottom, not the top. And so I, right. I have those the way the, the, the Rickenbacker does them. Uh, but the idea of having a slotted peghead Vox Phantom style electric bazooki and surf green was just too much to, <laughs> to resist. Too, so. too much to resist. I hear you. Yeah. Well, the... Uh